Hi all. So similar to the barcode scanner machine video I did earlier where um, I use object code execution to scan my own barcodes to get Pokemon. This time I've done something similar with the Game Boy sewing machine. Yeah, that's right. There's the Game Boy sewing machine. Only however in Japan I, I've had one of these for a long time but I didn't want to just hoard it so now I finally got a use. It's the unintended purpose but wow well, like it it works. So um with further context Shonumi somebody called Shonumi Shonumi did a lot of research on obscure Game Boy peripherals and I, I've got some notes from him in the description so check out Shonumi if you're interested in technically how this works. Anyway I um, chatted with him for a while on Discord and um, he just helped with the basics on how it works for me and I was able to come up with my own code to work with Pokemon Yellow and um, I'll show you what I've been able to do now. So this is what I came up with. I've set up the memory editor with WSM. I used that to insert my code into the game and to quickly edit and debug things. Um have 4F here which will set up the main code. What I did was first I sent a serial transfer of zero and then I sent a serial transfer of eight zero and I had it specified to interact with the internal clock. So this is an internal transfer. And here's my Jaguar sewing machine Game Boy compatible one. Um, I'll use 4F and then it's now running in the background because I've redirected this to the overall loop script. So I, I press it, turn it on and now we have a little wild encounter. Now the wild encounter are made to be random based on um, the random add address and every time it's on and every time I do this when it's on it'll just give you another encounter. The encounter can be anything within the 255 you can get from an instant encounter so you could get trainers or you could get glitch pokemon as well or any of the 151 and there is a bug in the code at first i did patch that one out but well, i had to um yeah, that's why I set the zero byte first. first. First I set the zero byte transmission and then I, I requested the transfer. And the actual transfer is from... Oh, let me remember. The actual transfers from... FFD3 you can read the contents of FFD3 to get the byte, the status byte. In this case it registered 4-0 in hexadecimal so you can like read that to tell that it's on. Now, if I 
use for f while it's not on nothing's going to happen i've also made it print a little tie on the screen here just to check things when when it's um when it's on the tile changes to the 40 sub tile and there we go <laughs> now um I originally wanted to um, turn this into sewing machine plays Pokemon, but I gathered um, there were quite a few complications, and I don't basically know how to um, make Red move yet. But I hope you enjoyed this little tech demo. See you. Bye. Thanks for watching.